Uncivilized Vitality. In this video, I uh, was going to be about uh, your bailout bag or your get home bag or your SHTF. Shit hits the fan bag. Anyway, one of those bags where you've got all your preparedness and your things carrying it. And I was going to contrast that, uh, your bailout bag or get home bag versus all day carry. Just the stuff you have with you all the time uh, on your person. And then one of our members, uh, Shane, came up with a discussion topic or a question. As far as ADC goes, what do you carry? This is not working, is it? Um, how do you decide what to carry on body versus off body? So let's talk about that a little bit, right? On body versus off body for your ADC. And then I'll roll into another video. Um, I know how it goes by a month or whenever it comes back in my brain about the get home bag versus the stuff on my body. Now I'm all for um, a, a daily carry bag, my EDC bag, my Bob bag. I'm oh, sorry about the microphone. Just having this with me because I can throw all kinds of extra things in it. And I'll go over um, what that is uh, in another video. So this is just my Hill People gear and I've got uh, a bunch of stuff there. I've got a little organizer panel. We'll go through that. But in my bag, I keep, this is my little daily organizer kit and I have a few others. I have my phone chargers and um, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, chapstick, pen, dry erase marker because I teach at the university and I, I'm always running out of dry erase markers. And inside here I've got some extra contacts, uh, power bank, or um, power block for the wall, some flossers, uh, life-saving earplugs, that kind of thing, some extra contacts. That's just kind of my daily toiletry kit. So I keep that in my bag. I don't need that in my pockets. And then I have this little um, bag that's usually stuffed full of electrolyte drinks and snacks. That's my food bag. And that's another good use for a, um, just a daily carry bag. And then in the smaller pocket from that, I keep uh, an extra pair of gloves, a life straw, a pair of gloves, and an extra buff. So some cover elements and my hat in there. And then usually in there or the top of my bag where I've got a little slot pocket, I'll put those little daily things I want to get at. I've got um, a little container with business cards and extra cards. I keep my sling in the top of the bag. Uh, my little bag of dice, which I always have with me. My gym boss round timer in case I get a chance to do a little bit of a practice or a workout. And then I can't show you this, but uh, it's my, my ID and my uh, lab keys. I just keep all that stuff right in the top. Okay. So um, the other thing my bag allows me to do is carry my uh, medical that I'm not going to carry on my person. I do, of course, have my tourniquet in my pocket, but we'll come back to that in a second. So I take my blowout kit, my boo-boo box, and I throw those in my bag. And then I have some wipes, little dude wipe packets, because these are always handy for uh, just a variety of things. Okay. So the other thing it does is allow me to keep track of my big, can my big canteen. I'm not sure where my canteen is. I think it's upstairs, so I just grabbed one out of the storeroom so we can pretend this is the one I normally carry. So that'd be my, my Bob or my, my everyday carry bag. Now, carrying stuff on my person, <clears throat> I don't want to overload my pocket. Shane and I got talking, like what's absolutely essential to be on your person <clears throat> in your pockets, as opposed to in your bag uh, or your pouch. So in the Uncivilized Vitality, the three lines of carry or gear, we talk about line one, which is the um, pockets and pouch on your body. Maybe not directly in your pockets, but on your body at all times. And then your line two is your bedroll, or basically your backpack that you have around with you every day. And then line three would be your full hiking backpack loadout where you're taking extra things like um, a hammock and a saw and a hatchet and you know, all those outdoor stuff like line three. You could easily get by with line two, just my backpack. Sometimes I have a, my swag man roll or an extra blanket in there. I definitely have my poncho in the back. I'll do another video and pull out my bedroll level bag. But line one, pockets and pouch. These are the things I have on me. So um, first thing is I carry my pistol in the front, right? I'm just showing that that's, that's safety clear, right? That's clear, just so YouTube knows. So I have a pistol. 
and along with my pistol in my rear pocket, if not on my belt, I carry an extra magazine. And then I carry that in, uh, I think this is an alien gear, and uh, <laughs> don't, uh, don't make too many comments. Obviously it's modified uh, a little bit, just the way I like to carry it. So I have my pistol on me. If my pistol is not on me, it is secured uh, in my, my bag or in my vehicle. Uh, but it should be on my body. If it's not directly in the appendix carry or uh, rarely at my side, I will put it in my uh, chest rig or pouch that's on my body. I don't really like that. I like to keep my pistol on me. Okay. In my pockets, I have um, a few other items. Okay. Let's dump all this stuff out and you'll start to see what I think what Shane was talking about. What else I got? Yeah, right? So it gets to be it gets to be quite a bunch uh, of different stuff. So what I do is I roll through. Um, if I were going to take some of this stuff off and offload it into a small pouch, because I don't want to directly in my pockets. Uh, not a lot of room in here. It's just an, it's just an external pocket. This is my Spiritus Systems uh, sack, your sub abdominal carry kit. I like this one. I think probably the most because it's very small. And it sits right here below my abdomen. It doesn't allow me to carry a lot of things. And I can, I can move it. I usually keep it empty inside my bigger bag in case I want to offload these. This is great for like, um, we were just up at San, the big uh, summer camp. And I'm not wearing, I'm wearing my swimsuit most of the day or my swim trunks. Not a lot of pockets, not a lot of support because I don't have a, a good belt on. This is my Grip 6 uh, belt. Stiff enough to carry my pistol. And support my extra mag case or maybe my multi-tool um, but if i don't have a belt on sometimes it's nice to take this stuff out of my pockets and throw it in here <clears throat> as to what you should have on your body uncivilized vitality talks about the uh, the eight families of tools now some of those i'm not going to carry on my body uh, consistently but let's go through the tools and i'll show you what i do have okay first tool is uh, clothing and cover so at the very least i have uh, at least one silk bandana or co and or cotton bandana uh, in my back pocket. I always have to have a handkerchief. So I have that color, that uh, cover and clothing element with me all the time, a morigami in my back pocket. Secondly, I need to have some sort of a container. So that would be uh, either the belt pouch or my actual pockets and a steel container, a water bottle. Usually that's in my hand, I'm setting it down or I keep it in my big bag, but I'm always carrying a water bottle or something I can uh, transport water in. The, uh, the third is going to be my, my cutting and digging. So as far as cutting and digging, I might go a little overboard. I always have two knives on my person. When I go out into uh, the woods, I add a third, uh, which is a belt knife, um, a hatchet or ax or tomahawk, and a saw. So when I go out into the woods, I add three, but I've always got two on me. I always have at least one small fixed blade. I'm just running the the uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool uh, Cricket, the uh, Minimalist, the Foltz Minimalist. This one's in the Bowie blade shape. I also have the Spear Point I like and uh, the Tonto. They got like nine blade shapes. And I wear this in either a neck knife or I'll pull the lanyard and just attach it to my belt. Okay, So I always have at least a small fixed blade knife with me. Now, besides a pocket handkerchief, I insist that the knife stays on my body. Okay, I wouldn't carry my blades in the pouch in case I lost the pouch. My second knife is I like to carry a multi-tool. Now this is my Leatherman Signal that's got a second blade on it. So I like to have my second blade instead of being just a folder like a Spyderco, which I really enjoy. Um, may as well make it a multi-tool. For day to day, I'm going to carry a smaller multi-tool like the Leatherman um, uh, style or what is that other one? Okay. Uh, the Leatherman style or like the little... Um, splurge what is that called splurge i can't remember the small leatherman uh, but in this case i have a little gerber dime these are super uh, inexpensive less than twenty dollars it's got great functionality and it's just a small secondary blade with some other functionality in case uh, i lose it i'm not going to lose too much sleep over uh, damaging or losing the second blade okay, really and i got the screwdrivers and the pliers and the scissors and other things the Gerber dime does not have a saw function on it, which is one of the trade-offs, but usually sits in my right hand pocket with my money, uh, my cash clip and my money clip. 
When I go out into the woods, I would take this out of my big bag and transfer it onto my person or leave it in my pouch as a third knife because the Leatherman Signal, while it lacks scissors, it does have the saw function and a bunch of other functions. So that would be okay to put in my pouch off my body. The other thing, uh, I gotta have my ID and my, uh, my wallet goes in my pocket. Okay. And in my wallet, I carry a small, a small uh, fire steel, a little ferro rod, and a little ferro rod and a ceramic striker, and a wazoo fire card. This thing is pretty cool. I can use uh, one of my knives on my body, scrape some of this fire card into this tinder, hit a spark, and I've got a fire. I also, in my pocket or in my pouch, uh, typically carry a small lighter, one of our um, UV setup lighter, uh, survival lighters. Although I don't like to say survival. And I don't know where that's at. But you've seen them before, any Bic lighter, that's a good thing to have in your pocket. But since I always have my wallet on me with my ID, I know I've got at least one fire um, source in here, and that's going to be in my pocket. I insist that. If I want to carry another larger ferro rod or a lighter, I would throw that into the pouch. Now, uh, fire and light. So the other light source, I keep um, my small flashlight on me. We got another video coming up soon going over different types of flashlights. But I keep this small, single, AAA cell, Streamlight, super cheap, super small. I don't remember the model number. I don't have my glasses on, but we'll do that in the flashlight video. I keep this in my pocket mainly because I can slide that little clip right down into one of the card slots on my wallet. And I know that... In my left hand pocket, I've got that flashlight right next to my wallet. Now, if you're carrying a, a pistol uh, on the daily and you're carrying that on your body, you absolutely have to carry three things. A second magazine, a flashlight, and a tourniquet. The tourniquet needs to be on your body. This I would put on my pocket, uh, in one of my pockets, or I also feel comfortable putting this in my, my body pouch. And sometimes I'll put my second magazine in my body pouch, okay? Sometimes I will put, this is another flashlight, I'll put a second flashlight in that body bag. <laughs> Not body bag, body pouch. And then the last thing I keep on my person absolutely is about a six to eight foot hunk, uh, hank of paracord. I just throw that pocket, doesn't, doesn't take up any space, weighs nothing. And then uh, my glasses, I just hang them here. So I have uh, two knives on me. I have my wallet with fire starter, starter in it. I have cordage. I have covering. When we get down to uh, book, I keep a tiny stub of a, a golf pencil in my wallet and a, one of these tiny little write in the rain flip books. So I have a way to write down. And that golf pencil idea was uh, another member, Mark. He always keeps a golf pencil. He said, I think he, I think he said he learned that from his dad to keep a small golf pencil in his wallet, right? Or even a tiny write in the rain pen like this is. So I have a way to write messages or record things. So that's the, the book element. Now the salt and needle, that's mostly the med kit and, and uh, hygiene. I don't necessarily keep that on body, but I do carry it in my, my, my big bag. I have the blowout kit. Um, I have the tourniquet with me, so that's close. And then I keep uh, electrolyte drinks, literal salt, and uh, a rip spool and some uh, tape in my, my big bag. Um, sling and spear, sling and spear as far as uh, self-defense and stuff goes, that is my, my pistol and that stays on my body. So I have my pistol and then a few extra things that could go in pockets and weigh me down. It's not necessarily terrible if I were to lose this bag, um, but if I have everything in my pocket and then I add this bag with a few extras, right, I can put that on there. If I'm out with uh, Carrie Ann and the boys, especially when they were younger, and we had to take some extra things, I would throw that into my backpack, and that gives me even more uh, functionality. There's some redundancies in here, but just loading these things up, this would be the stuff I take with me every day. I got plenty of space in this bag for my lunch, or a change of clothes when I'm running down the university, or extra books, or papers, just so many god-awful uh, amounts of papers, uh, my computer. So I keep all that stuff in the bag. And then the bag I can leave uh, in the in the Jeep or I can um, 
take the bag with me into the, like when I travel into the hotel or um, in and out of the office every day. I keep most of this stuff and kind of live out of this bag. But I'm also prepared for emergencies. I've got shelter issues or shelter components in there like my, my poncho and such. Getting further down, I keep a few extras on me in this bag, things I use, but I can take this bag off when I get to the office. I don't wear that in and out when I'm uh, seeing patients. I can take this and stuff it into, or drop it into, my big bag. That gives me a layer of versatility. And then actually on my body, in my pockets, just a few items. I keep the first, uh, first five. I got a couple knives. I've got a light. I've got fire starting. Um, I've got cordage. I usually keep that tourniquet in my back pocket and I have a, at least one or two morigamis. So um, go through the eight families of tools in the Uncivilized Vitality, which you think this would be a place for a shameless plug for volume two. So field craft, uh, how to use craft and caution in the outdoors, volume two of the Uncivilized Vitality book series is due out here, hopefully within uh, by the end of summer. So couple months and then uh, it'll go through all eight families of tools and it'll go through things like this what to carry on your body how to how to select a small pouch or chest rig to carry those extras or to store those things when you don't have pockets and then the idea of a of a get home bag so those three lines that'll all be in volume two coming out soon but look up the other videos on the eight families of tools and find a way to carry a representative of each of those on your body, either in your pockets or in your small uh, daily kit, like a fanny pack or a purse. Um, and then off body would be all those extra redundancies like the full blowout kit, your canteen, your poncho, your gloves, your hats, that sort of thing. And then instead of setting up special emergency bags that only sit in the truck, Work these things into your all-day carry, the, just the stuff you have with you and use every day. Okay. All right, so probably went far afield there, Shane, but hopefully that makes some sense. I don't try to get one of each actually in my pockets. Uh, you can use those small pouches, but I've got the basics on me, so if I lost my bag and my pouch, I still feel capable of being self-sufficient and um, using the tools I have. So as long as you're capable, adaptable, and durable, you can have self-sufficiency and remain uncivilized. So leave some comments below. What do you carry every day, uh, all day, every day? So EDC, ADC. And uh, what are some components you have in your bag? And how can you strip that down to uh, the bare minimum? And then hit the like button, make Rendell super happy, smash the shit out of it. And then, um, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well, we'll bleep it out. Smash the hex out of it. And then uh, Rendell will be happy. Leave some comments, leave some uh, um, questions and that sort of thing and subscribe and share. Thank you.